appreciate it. All right, guys. Dante, 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 Dante. All right. I was gonna ask you who was gonna win, but I don't have to ask now. What's up, man? What's up, what's up, y'all? All right, y'all. All right. Man, my man, my man. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Well, it looks like Mikey Garcia is not only focused on Errol Spence, he's also focused on Terrence Crawford, at least talking about Terrence Crawford. Mikey Garcia, he did a recent interview and he was explaining why he chose to fight Errol Spence at the welterweight division and not Terrence Crawford. He basically criticized Terrence Crawford for facing Amir Khan next. And then he tried to take away credit for Terrence Crawford knocking out Jose Benavidez by mentioning that Jose Benavidez, he had got shot in his leg previously. So Mikey Garcia is basically saying today, the reason why he chose Errol Spence over Terrence Crawford is because Terrence Crawford is fighting Amir Khan and because Terrence Crawford beat Jose Benavidez. But maybe a month or two ago, Mikey Garcia has said the reason why he would rather fight Errol Spence over Terrence Crawford was because he did not like Terrence Crawford's style. He said all Terrence is going to do is move and run around the ring. So when you listen to everything that Mikey Garcia said from today to even before why he chose Errol Spence over Terrence Crawford, Mikey Garcia is making it sound like he feels that Errol Spence is an easier opponent than a Terrence Crawford. It sounds like he's saying Terrence Crawford would be a more difficult opponent. Mikey Garcia is a very intelligent fighter, and he believes, I'm saying what he believes, he believes that Errol Spence will be more of a stationary target. When it comes to Terrence Crawford, he's switching from Southpaw to Orthodox. He can box, he can fight on the inside, he can pretty much do it all. Not saying Errol Spence can't do, but I think this is the way Mikey Garcia is looking at things. But it's pretty interesting when Mikey Garcia talks about Terrence Crawford's resume because Terrence Crawford's resume is very impressive. That's the reason why the majority of people have him pound for pound number one. If some of them don't have him number one, they have him number two behind Lomachenko. But in almost every pound for pound list or on almost every pound for pound list, Terrence Crawford is either number one or he's number two. I mean, he beat gold medalist Felix Diaz, he beat gold medalist Yoriokas Gamboa. Coincidentally, Yoriokas Gamboa had been calling out Mikey Garcia for almost two years uh, before Mikey Garcia had went over to PBC. Let's not forget Terrence Crawford, he also dominated Victor Postal, an opponent that a lot of fans said that Terrence Crawford was gonna duck. They were accusing Terrence Crawford of ducking Victor Postal. Then he goes in there and he dominates Victor Postal. He moved up in weight, annihilated Ndongo, who was an undefeated champion. Terrence Crawford destroyed him like he was just a journeyman. Once again, moving up in weight. So there's no doubt about it, Terrence Crawford has a very impressive resume. Now, when it comes to Mikey Garcia, he has a good resume. I believe his best win on his resume is against Robert Easter. But listen, there's no doubt about it. Mikey Garcia moving up in weight to face the truth Errol Spence. Top two, the most feared welterweight in the world. Mikey Garcia, he went up to face him. You cannot criticize him if he chooses to fight Errol Spence over Terrence Crawford. But with that being said, I don't understand why Mikey Garcia would want to criticize Terrence Crawford in front of the public. Because once again, criticizing Terrence Crawford for facing Amir Khan or Jose Benavidez and then before saying that he doesn't like Terrence Crawford's style, it sounds more like he just has more respect for Terrence Crawford than he does for Errol Spence. That's how it comes out. Now, keep in mind, guys, for those of you guys who don't know, Terrence Crawford actually beat Mikey Garcia in the amateurs. So one would think that if Terrence Crawford has already beat Mikey Garcia 
if the majority of boxing organizations and websites have Terrence Crawford rated higher than Mikey Garcia, it would seem to me that Mikey Garcia would actually want that fight. Mikey would want to show people, listen, I'm better than this guy. Just like Mikey believes that he's better than Errol Spence, it would seem that he would show people or want to show people that he's better than Terrence Crawford as well. But realistically, if Mikey Garcia were to pull out the upset and beat Errol Spence, that would definitely alleviate the pressure of him having to fight Terrence Crawford immediately. I mean, don't get me wrong, he would still have to fight tough competition eventually. Something else that needs to be said when Mikey Garcia criticizes Terrence Crawford for fighting against Amir Khan, the funny thing is Terrence Crawford has already called out Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence. So it's not as if he's cherry picking. People have to understand what an actual cherry pick is. A cherry pick is when tough opponents are calling you out and you elect to fight against an easier opponent. You choose an easier opponent when you had tough guys that were calling you out. For those of you guys that recall, I uploaded the video, it's on my channel. Uh, Terrence Crawford, he confronted Robert Garcia, Mikey Garcia's brother, and he told Robert Garcia, I will knock your brother out. So Mikey Garcia has a lot of reasons to fight against Terrence Crawford. That's another reason. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Take your strike game to the next level with the Focus Ball. Dramatically improved footwork, timing, accuracy, reflex, head movement, and striking technique. Train every time, everywhere with the Focus Ball.